Dustin Johnson is one of the newest kind of old school blues players, one of the best out there. And he uses a bunch of really cool techniques. And today I want to highlight a few of those techniques so that you guys can start to groove like Justin Johnson. <laughs> First thing, he does this monotonic blues, so he's always keeping this low bass note going. No matter what he's doing, he's keeping this going, he's keeping the groove going. And that's really hard to do. He does these really cool live streams where he talks to his audience and he just keeps this going the whole time. And this is way harder than it seems. And you know, I'm not keeping it perfect here, but I'm doing the best I can. And you know, with a lot of practice, you will get a lot better at this. So one of the things you could do is just do this all the time while you're watching TV. The next thing he does is he adds these little blues scale fragments. So one thing you gotta do is learn that blues scale in the open position. And then he also uses the second position a lot. And that blue scale is, is pretty easy in this position. And then the second position. And then he does these little kind of trill riffs all the times too. So there's a lot of action you get right out of that open and second position blues skill. The other thing he does is little double stops. That's just where you play two notes from the blues scale or adding other notes for chord tones from other chords. Once you kind of get that going, another thing he does is he starts to change the bass progression. So he does something like this. All he's doing there is just playing A, G, and E. Two bars of E at the end. So four beats of A, two, three, four, four beats of G, eight beats of E. Another thing he does a lot is these, what I call circular riffs. And that's where he's kind of just playing the same riff over and over on this progression. So something like this. <laughs> Those are harder than it seems. I know it's way too fast, let me slow that down a little bit. Two, three, four. And then you start over. Another thing that you can try to do is sequences. A sequence is where you play a scale, like up or down, but you go down in a certain number of notes, and then back up one, and then down in the same number. Let's just put it over E for a second. So I'm playing a sequence of threes. And if you can try to put that over the whole progression,
again, I know that was way too fast. Let's slow that way down. One, two, three, four. One more time. Finally, you just kind of try to put all those things together and have fun with it, right? Because everything that he does is improvised. He improvises on these themes and he writes songs. And if you like this style, definitely check out some more of my videos on monotonic blues and also check out his new album and his channel. Hey, that's it. Thanks for watching.